going on sis it's your girl chloe as me back in the cut with another video and in today's video we're gonna be vlogging because we love vlogs okay we love vlogs okay so i honestly need to go to the mall i'm about to go to the mall anyway because i have to get my brother like some boxing shoes and then when i go to macy's there's like a lady my mom and i always go in there and buy perfumes and so she literally like has my number and she texts me and stuff and we'll be like hey i'm in today we're having like a what she say what did she say 15 percent off on all beauty items so i'm gonna go in there and buy some perfumes today for my mom and i um and i'm honestly thinking that i want to go ahead and get like a refill on my alien perfume because i really like this perfume and it's almost gone and then i ordered this perfume for my mom and i the other day because i had already bought her one of these but they were having them like 60 percent off on the macy's website this one said azaro perfume and it smells honestly super amazing and it's like a little grenade it smells so good but anyways so as you guys know in my recent video i was telling you guys about the jewelry that i got love this and i love this and i love my ring but with nails it's very hard for me to have to like keep taking off jewelry and putting it back on i always have to ask somebody to put it on for me so i'm thinking about buying myself like a real gold bracelet so that i never have to take it off because it's very hard putting on a bracelet like very hard when you have on nails and everything so that's one thing that i do want to go ahead and do today i've been getting into jewelry so much lately and it's like now like it has to be a part of my outfit to complete my outfit so yeah i'm about to go ahead and head to the mall i know a lot of people do not like this alien perfume i lift up the necklace yeah hey. i knew it was your big headed self what do you want my closet's super clean uh i don't care about your closet being clean, so clean. i'm yeah. filming what do you want my room clean too. ew what do you do they got my name wrong. No, Why are you coming in my room? Hey guy, hey you guys squad. What's up? How y'all doing? Ew, you're too tall. You need to move. Alright. Okay, y'all are probably for real being like, you're a bully. No! Brent, come over here, back over here. Alright, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you yeah. need you need to tell them how it is. It's the dynamic, y'all. It's how it works. As brother and sister, that's how our relationship works. Stop talking like that. A brother and sister, a hot militia. That's that's work. my YouTube talk, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Ew, please. So y'all see me in real life, I'm different, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah, and I'm real cool too in real life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, back to reality. This boy getting on my nerves. Go, go, go! Close my dang door! Anyway, oh, I wanted to go ahead and talk about something real quick. Okay, so y'all know on my drive with me from vlog to vlog video, wait, my vlog drive with me from store to store video, I bought like this benzoyl peroxide product and I ordered another one because it was really helping with my acne and my acne scars. Girl, get the heck out of here. I wish I would have never even done it because let me tell you something, it bleached my skin so bad. So if you watched my recent hygiene routine, go back and look at that video. My updated hygiene routine that I recently did, my skin was so bleached, it was literally crazy. I had bleached skin. I want you guys to honestly go look at it because I'm pretty sure I looked really different in those videos. From my winter shower slash body care routine, if you guys watched that video all the way up until like my updated hydro routine, my skin was so bleached, it was crazy, from benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide will bleach your skin, it will bleach your pillowcases, it will bleach your eyebrows, it will bleach your hair if you get it too close to your hairline. And you can see how like my face was so white right here during that time. And then I was morally like tan. And then I had like my color right here because I wasn't really like putting the benzoyl peroxide over there. Girl, I would never again use benzoyl peroxide in my life because it bleached my skin so bad and I looked so crazy. Like literally, I'm so glad that I finally got my color back. Because you guys know I like to tan once a week. And so since I tan once a week, it was hard to get that bleach color off of me and get like an overall color. So I recently had to go back and go like two or three days in a row to get my color. Not like too crazy dark, but just like an overall like color. Because that bleach, oh my gosh, that benzoyl peroxide bleached my skin so bad. I honestly looked crazy but I'm just like girl I wish I would have never even touched it because now I'm looking crazy in some videos okay I am naturally pale but it's the kind of bleach pale that I was in that video hmm no ma'am and this camera makes you look even lighter like it literally will make you look even more pale so it made it even worse because this camera has like an effect where it like just makes you super light I lift up this necklace when I am doing my perfume because you know chemicals can damage um so that I'm not ruining the necklace because chemicals like chlorine and perfume and stuff like that can damage this pendant and like the actual necklace and I'm super obsessed with this pendant like it's literally so cute I showed you guys a recent video but like yeah and I'm mixing it with this Azara Wanted it smells really good this one right here girl Girl, this and Carolina Herrera, I would have to suggest to everybody. Like, I can't suggest, like, this Alien perfume to everybody. Can I do that? Because not a lot of people are going to like it. But Alien, I mean, but Carolina Herrera, good girl. And Azaro Wanted. Yes, ma'am. You have to get it. I got to get him some boxing shoes and then I need to go out to eat. And, like, I want to go to Macy's to get the perfume, like I was telling you guys. Maybe pick up, like, a few clothing items. Maybe get him a few clothing items. So, yeah, I'm going to talk to you in a minute, sis. Okay, so we are in Dick's. We were trying to look for him some boxing shoes. But he found this Adidas outfit that he wants to go ahead and get. I think it's pretty cool. Look at that. It's cool. It's nice. Look. They got it on sale. And it's on the pants, too. It's on the pants, too. Yep. Show your shoes, Brandon. Uncle, your uncle got you. All right, now. All right, my mama brother hooking her brother up. Hold on. Let me, let me show his outfit real quick. Y'all better not be simping over my brother, either. Ugh. I can't even. Look at them shoes, though. Them are nice. 
All right now, all right now. <laughs> He's gonna go ahead and grab that outfit. We can't find him no boxing shoes. I got on my sketches today. You wanna show my outfit, Mom? Got my sketches on with the little flowers on them. I like them. I had got these pants from the thrift store. This is a cheap little thing from Target. Got all my little jewelry on. My coach purse that him and my other brother got me. Anyway, yeah, we just we just shopping around. We were trying to get him some boxing shoes and we can't find them, so. I hate escalators so much. I hate them with a the passion. They scare me. I don't like elevators or escalators. Yes. Ooh, yes. Okay, mom, let me tell my mama talk about some she want to get in. Look, the lighting is actually pretty good. I can't believe my little brother's taller than me. We used to actually look like twins. I they wish did. I had the picture, but twins. everybody and thought we were time twins. She got taller than me. One time I got, I never got taller than you. Yes, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. When? How? Yo, that is hilarious. I guess so. We were at the same shoe size one time. Now his feet are, he just got, everybody's way bigger than me in my family. I'm the smallest one. Nice and petite. And I'm not mad about it because it is. It's like cute, you know? Y'all seen him a little bit more recently. Yep, Talking about yep. some, I bully my brother. Time. Yeah, but yeah, we used to look like twins and then his face started to change, my face started to change. So we don't look like twins anymore. But yeah, and everybody thought that we were twins. Like they were like, oh my gosh, your twins are so cute. Or are they twins? She had us back to back. We were so like, I actually had stair steppers. Stair steppers. Xavier was two. Yeah, my brother, my brother and I are a year and a half apart, so she had him as well, right before she had me. And so she had like three kids in car seats. Hey. Diapers, bottles, yep. So yeah, that's just what it is. That's like the life, okay? He's big headed and annoying. Ew. 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 I'm about to go ahead and take them out to eat. And then I'm gonna go back home and figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of my, my day. I might be going bowling with some church friends, so. Yeah, lit, lit, there, lit. Not, you know. He might not be there. Yeah, I might not. I, I ain't gonna depend on him. Every single time he said he's gonna go somewhere, he gonna end up going. Ew, go somewhere. Yes. Ew. <laughs> you should have just covered it up if you were gonna do it. I was trying to, I don't know. It was like, if I pushed the camera, it would have been like weird. This dude. Quick story time. I hate that my face is like so dry and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, he's looking at, you have story time? I got embarrassing story time. The people lived down the street from us, they had a, they had a pool. And I was like young and stuff. So like at the time I didn't really know the difference between like swimsuits and stuff like that. So I run out with a swimsuit and the swimsuit is a speedo. Oh, and they teased you for it. Yeah, and they teased you. You saw like the little things I used to buy you. Yeah, the American one. The yeah, all one. the American ones. Yeah. <laughs> and they thought it was warm. Mom, they thought they. You, oh no! Oh what? boy! Oh boy! There was a guy there, and it was like a friend of the mom's, and he was like, "Little B, B, what you, bruh." I know you were wearing all those he was speedos. So cute. Yes. He wore up north. He wore I know they were cute, but he had got older. Right. <laughs> so I'm still wearing them right now. That's right. That's right. You, you would not. The, you got the body for it. He can bust. I it. can't stand when them old men be trying to come out with them speedos. Oh my god. Yeah. And he was drinking the creamer. Both. Of them. I was drinking the creamer. I like the creamer. Both my mom had like this this coffee creamer. She did. She had stopped drinking coffee anyway. So every single day I'd get like some shots of it. And then when I had the little cups, the little half and halves. Dad oh, would no, love us. It was creamers. It no, was Dad would let us. Dad, we would go to restaurants and stuff or hotels, and he would let us get a bunch of half and halves. Uh -huh. We would drink them down. They were so good. That's terrible. He I'm let us. And I'm so tired. I went to sleep at three o'clock last night. Yeah. Yeah. And you need to start being responsible. I know. I'll show you guys. But like, we go into. I told you guys that like, there's this lady at Macy's, and like, she's really cool. And so I come in there and I drop a lot of money every single time I come in for perfumes. <clears throat> so this time I bought four perfumes. Because there's like two that I really wanted, two that my mom really wanted, and we, we usually only get two, one for each. But I really wanted them, and so she had texted me like, "Hey, like we got discounts or whatever." And um, I came in, bought them, and then she was like, "I was like, can you put them inside her bags?" No, I'm not. And I was like, "What?" She was like, "I put an extra whole yeah. bottle of cologne in there. You can give it to your brother. Um, a whole bottle of Jimmy Choo cologne." She put in there. She got me some Lancome skincare. Last time she gave me Dior, VIP, lip gloss and stuff. She's really cool. I love her. It was little. She was probably in first grade. He was in kindergarten. I remember catching him fight. No, the first it's time. I was in first grade. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh my gosh. I couldn't believe it. You couldn't have told me my babies was doing No, we were older like than that. that. Oh my gosh. They was boom, 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 boom. I was probably in third grade. He was probably in second grade. Oh my gosh, they was fighting. Boom, 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 boom. No, we would actually fist fight. I know, that's, I couldn't believe it. And we would actually fist fight. Could, and you would just keep going. We would hit each other in the face too, so it would hurt really bad. Oh my gosh. And hit in your face, you go back. And we would actually fight. Was, I couldn't believe but it. But it wasn't like playing, we were beefing. I know. We I was like fighting like dogs on the street. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Oh my gosh. Because it would go slowly. We would hit each other and then he hit me harder than I hit him harder than we hit him. It would go all the way up to his face. You told me my little angel babies was doing something like that, honey. When I saw it, I didn't know what to do. I said, y'all better stop that right now. No, it was fun when the rain came down and then we could go play outside in the rain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. we always did. My mom let us go play outside in the rain. That's, that so, that's awesome. so fun for kids. All right, so I got some shrimp tacos. He got some sliders. My mom got a steak. Those are sliders, right? Mm -hmm. But they look like dry. I don't like dry tacos, so I asked for some guacamole. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and get like ready like last minute, like a little bit, just throwing something really simple, but I went out to eat. 
And I just do not like hands that smell like food. So I'm about to go ahead and scrub the heck out of my dang hands because I don't play that junk. I'm gonna get some soap and scrub all under these nails. I already know they're gonna be popping off if I'm about to be going bowling. But I just like to go ahead and like scrub the heck out of my nails and stuff because I don't like that. Like I do not like dirty toes, dirty fingers. Look, if you're about to have nails or like if you wanna smell good and you wanna have nails, make sure you keep up on it because sis. Having nasty hands that smell bad, like that's not it. So I scrub the heck out of my dang hands underneath my nails every single day. And the same thing goes for your toes. Like good hygiene is covering every single thing behind your ears, your belly button, your toes, your nails, like everything, your back, your neck, all over your neck. Everything has to be clean. Can't be slacking in hygiene, baby. I get everything. Okay, so before I go, I went ahead and applied some more deodorant. I love this aluminum free, these aluminum free secret deodorants. This is the cotton one. My face is real dry because I had on my mask, but like, what's the point of even moisturizing my face again if I'm gonna have to go ahead and put on another mask? Okay, no ma'am. Y'all need this lip gloss. It is the Hemp Seed Lip Oil Therapy. They sell it at beauty supply stores. My sister kind of put me on. Super good, $1.99, comes with a lot of product and it's not sticky let me go ahead and show you guys the perfumes that i bought today morning roma yellow dreams oh my gosh they smell so good one for me one for my mom um i picked up this today in american eagle it smells so good but the lady when i was buying the perfume the lady was like okay but what are you wearing like what kind of perfume are you wearing and she was like you smell so dang good yes ma'am i bought this la vies bell soleil dreams soleil dreams no said Soleil Crystal. And then I bought my mom this Coach Floral perfume gift set. Okay, sis, why my camera always running out of room? It's always running out of room because I filmed so much footage that it's literally done. And I feel bad that I have to go ahead and like reapply perfume even though I already put on my perfume for the day. Ooh, this, what the heck is this? This has to come off. This is the cologne that she gave to my brother for free because we're like one of her loyal clients. So it is the Jimmy Choo Urban Hero. Yes, ma'am, goodbye. We're about to take off in like five minutes. Oh my gosh, I forgot I had my necklace on, you guys. You can't be spraying perfume on this. I be forgetting stuff so dang easily. Okay. This smells so good, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's like so beautiful. You have to get this. It's the new Lancome La Vies Bell Soleil Crystal. I'm not getting no points. Y'all see the score? I have the least amount of points right here. Sorry, y'all. The camera's shaking. Oh! This is bad. Align your arm. Align your arm. Like, this is embarrassing. Like when you follow through, like, like you know this arrow? Use your hand to like align your arm. I don't know what you're talking about. You got it, come on. There we go. Okay, it's all right. We want to the fact I'm trash out here, all right? But we still lit out here. We still lit out here, y'all. All right, all right. The lighting's bad. Hey. Right here, boys. My boy out here with the skills. I had the wrong last name, y'all. How is my last name Bolin and I have terrible scores? This is not good, y'all. This ain't good. <laughs> I didn't get it on camera, but y'all. I knocked them all, I knocked them all though. I knocked got them all. Got hey, got I, can't, I can't hit that. Yo, we out here doing it big. Let's go. Come on, Bless God. I'll say something nah. about this. Come on. Hyper up, Bless God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My boy Alistair had faith in me. Thank you. 
Okay, so it has been a very long but fun night and your girl is ready for bed But I told myself I was going to have a pamper night so I am going to follow through My favorite exfoliators are exfoliating gloves I love them because they are super easy and effective Now my choice bar soap of the night is going to be the classic white bar from Dove A beauty bar as they call it, they don't call it soap, they call it a beauty bar Okay sis, if you haven't already tried this white bar, let me go ahead and tell y'all a little bit more about it Okay it is extremely moisturizing. I have super dry skin, so this really comes in handy because a lot of bar soaps are very drying and they really strip the skin of its natural moisture. This will have your skin smelling very fresh and clean. It's the kind of scent that anybody can love. Like, it's like a lovable scent. Like, how can you not? It gives such a rich, thick lather without over drying out the skin, like I already said. And if you are new to the bar soap game, this is one of the top best bar soaps that I can seriously suggest. Now, if you don't already know, I am a very big fan of Dr. Bronner's cast out soaps, but this is the sugar soap in the scent Peppermint. And girl, this is my top favorite body wash at the moment. Number one, it's not as drying and stripping as the regular cast out soaps. Number two, it makes you feel so clean and you will smell fresh for 24 hours. Shoot, over 24 hours, okay? If you don't have his body wash, go get it. You need it, I am addicted. The lather is popping. Now I'm going to hop right into shaving. I recently purchased this Bella Bear Unicorn Dreams Whipped Bath Soap and Shave Cream. This is literally so amazing for shaving. It's very creamy and it allows me to get a very close and smooth shave. The only thing is, I am not the biggest fan of the scent. It's not a nasty scent, it just kind of smells like glue. Well actually it is kind of nasty. Like it doesn't smell like unbearable, it just has like a weird scent. Kind of smells like glue or plastic or like a fake kid soap or something. I just seriously can't stand the scent. Would I buy this again? No. If it had a good scent, yes, because the results are amazing. But for me, scent is everything. Now this upcoming step is completely optional and it's not really needed. I'm just super extra, so I'm gonna be double exfoliating. Here I am using the Shea Moisture Lavender and Wild Orchid Calming Hand and Body Scrub. Let me just say, Shea Moisture has it going on with their body care, honey. Their body scrubs are super abrasive and will leave no dead skin behind, okay? She leaves no crumbs behind. You will be soft and glowing from head to toe. This is why I say it's optional because if you're gonna go in with exfoliating gloves you do not need to be doing any extra exfoliating or if you're gonna be going in with a shea moisture body scrub you do not need to be double exfoliating but I'm extra with everything I do okay and I probably always will be sorry I was clicking on my keyboard right there but yes ma'am get her done <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, I am the type of girl that takes my foot care very, very, very serious. So I love to have soft, clean feet at all times. So you see me here with the best pumice stone. It is by the Onyx Professionals, you know, line or whatever. You can get it at Walmart in the foot care section. It is called the world's best pumice stone. My feet have never been so soft. First, you wanna go in with the green side and then go in with the white side to buff it all out and give you an overall smoothness. Now you see me here scrubbing the heck out of my toes and my feet with the pure cast out soap the dr bonner's peppermint pure cast out soap i got this brush at sally's i love to use it on my nails and on my feet We are finally coming to an end here. I will finally be going in with the famous Jergens Weightless Wet Skin Moisturizer. I absolutely love this stuff because even though it doesn't add like a crazy amount of moisture, it is still very moisturizing and does the job. Especially if you just got done using a super drying and stripping soap. This product adds extra fragrance and moisture to your body and I am obsessed. You can also use it for shaving, but I really suggest leaving this product on for like a minute and a half to two minutes to let the moisture go ahead and soak in and you will be moisturized. Okay, sis, so your girl is now out of the shower. I was gonna go ahead and like voice over this, but I'm like, why not just go ahead and like talk to my girls? Anyway, so lately I have been really liking this hemp pink pomelo and Himalayan sea salt body lotion. I do not like a lot of hemp's lotion because they're like super watery and stuff, but this one seems to be honestly like a really good lotion. It's very lightweight. It doesn't make you feel like super greasy, like oily, like it's not a heavy product, but it is very moisturizing. So when I go to bed, I don't really like having like a bunch of oils and stuff on my body um, because I am gonna be in my sheets and everything and so yeah I really like this it smells so good you guys and it's super moisturizing your skin will smell so good and your skin will smell like this for a very long time I really love this lotion anyway I was gonna do like a lot more filming tonight but I was like I'm actually gonna go ahead and enjoy myself I feel like when I'm doing something like really enjoyable I'm always recording and I love recording but when I'm like out and about with like friends and stuff like that I don't really want to be like recording and doing like all that extra stuff I like to respect people's privacy they don't really mind but it's just like I just want to have fun like you know like I don't want to always have to be in like work mode you know now that I'm done moisturizing my body I will be going in with the Ariana Grande cloud perfume yes ma'am but basically like we had went to the bowling alley I wasn't really feeling it and I was, I was getting really bored like I really do not know how to bowl and it honestly was just not really my thing like I just was like mm. so then we ended up going to an arcade and we did like some arcade games and then we did like some jumping which was really fun I was gonna go ahead and record that but I was just like you know I'm just gonna enjoy my time when you have to jump and stuff like that there's like trampoline slides beams it's like so much stuff in this place but like having a mask on it's hard to breathe when you're doing that I was so out of breath the mask made it so hard to breathe and then filming and stuff like that was gonna make it like annoying okay now i'm gonna be going in with my aluminum free cucumber secret deodorant love that love that now these dark parts of my underarms are from tanning like when i'm tanning like these two parts still tan and so the rest of it is really light i have lightened up my arm my underarms a lot just by exfoliating and stuff like that. Exfoliation is the key to not having strawberry legs, to having no hyperpigmentation, no darkness, smooth skin, no dead skin, glowing skin, you know. Exfoliation is a very big deal. So I know a lot of people do not usually go in with the body scrub after they get done with exfoliating gloves, but it was pamper night tonight. And like, I was not even gonna go ahead and pamper myself. I was honestly just gonna be like, I'm going to bed. Like, I'm not dealing with this, but I cannot stand a dirty body. And since we were, like, jumping on stuff, falling, like, it was just not it. I have to go ahead and clean my body, and I told myself that I was going to pamper myself, and I would not be able to do this tomorrow because I'm washing my hair tomorrow. I'm, like, doing a deep conditioner, and who likes to shave and wash their hair and exfoliate in the same exact shower? Like, no. I had to do my foot care routine, body care routine. I have my turmeric mask on. I'm about to go ahead and rinse off. But once I get done rinsing it off, I'm honestly going straight to bed. So I just wanted to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for checking in with me, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. This lighting is a no-go, but good morning. I am on my way to go ahead and go to McDonald's because I know if I go to Starbucks, it's about to be very, very, very packed, and I'm not waiting in a line. That's gonna take 25 to 30 minutes for a coffee, and I have to drive all the way back home. Okay, no ma'am. I'm just gonna go up the street. Not really up the street, but up the street kind of. To McDonald's and grab like two coffees so that it can make up for like 
one of Starbucks coffees. I basically just gotta brush my teeth, wash my face, clean my bathroom because I do not like a messy bathroom and my bathroom gets very messy when I film like me doing like shower videos and stuff like that. Girl, it be, it be no, it be no. This some praise and worship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for waking me up this morning. Thank you, Jesus. On my way to the bowling alley yesterday, I kind of had to drive through like my old stomping grounds, like the streets that we grew up on, busted down buildings that are out of service. It's dark over there. It's gloomy. It's hood. It's poverty. Not saying that in like a ill, like <laughs> poverty. No, I'm saying like there's nothing good over there. And so I was, me and my brother were driving and I was just like thanking the Lord Jesus Christ because it was such a dark life over there. Like it's so nasty over there. And I don't like getting emotional around people but I was like honestly low-key emotional because I just couldn't believe where we are today and it's like the Lord Jesus Christ like you cannot tell me that my God is not real because I have prayed specific prayers there have been times where there would have been no way out if it wasn't for Jesus there are just certain things that I know for a fact he did just the simple fact of being able to wash my laundry whenever I want to wash my laundry being able to buy a pair of pants when I want to buy a pair of pants instead of having holes in my pants and then being high waters and me just rolling them up trying to act like I was doing it for style purposes being able to buy dish soap without having to put water in it being able to buy body wash being able to purchase the feminine hygiene products that I need because growing up I couldn't get certain hygiene products and I just I'm, I'm honestly having my own car we had no transportation it's honestly just mind-blowing it's so mind-blowing life was terrible it was so dark and bad and sometimes you just don't remember just how bad it was until you have to go back and look at those same stomping grounds and look at the same stores that your mom was stressing in trying to put her pennies together to afford food for you I'm very grateful and sometimes it's it's like honestly unbelievable even being able to pull up to McDonald's and pay six dollars my mom used to try to spread six dollars for one meal for all of us uh, I'm okay thank oh, you you're fine. I'm just trying not to blind myself. oh yeah <laughs> That's terrible. If somebody would figure out how to work the outdoor light switch, they right? Would turn off, it would be fantastic. Absolutely. <laughs> you have a blessed day. You too. Thank I'm you. <laughs> Jada, if you're watching this, you have left your mask. You have two masks in my car as of right now. Two masks, girl. Basically, we are honestly just like fools. Like our little church group, we're just like, we're just, we just be fooling. So anyway, we basically got outside. We we're about to go home, blah, blah, blah. We're kind of dumb. So we literally, I put on a beat. Wait, I forgot who said let's freestyle. So somebody was like, hey, let's freestyle. I think it was like my little brother or something like that. And so I put on the freestyling beats. And so we were just out there trying to freestyle. You know me, I'm pretty crispy, you know, I'm just playing. I was trash, but we were all trash. And then Jada, she I, she was cold, so I let her sit in my car and I put on the heat or whatever, so she left her mask. Yeah, go around, Speedo. Go around. And the Popo is always on this road. So if you get caught, love, that's not on me. It's definitely something about opening up your windows and it's bright and it's sunny and it's shining through. That is a motivator for cleaning your room. If it was muggy and nasty right now, I'm gonna tell you, baby, we gonna have to have to say, hey, you're gonna have to stay dirty for another day. See? Y'all know I won that freestyle contest last night. <laughs> let me stop. Anyway, let me show y'all this room. It's actually embarrassing, so I don't even, this is embarrassing. Not too shabby over here, not too shabby. I haven't really been doing anything over here, but I have like a clean bonnet and some rags. Um, this is like this towels and stuff my mom took out of the dryer last night for me, and they, I don't know how they got everywhere, but yeah. This is the shopping bag from when I went over to shopping in my recent video. And then, um, yeah. I got food yesterday and ended up eating the rest of it last night. It had a cupcake that's in that paper towel. Like, the frosting was just too much, so I took some of the frosting, put it in there. It's a little bit messy. But at least my bathroom was clean. My bath I just had the coffee in here, and I just had to put my camera on my tripod and start recording me cleaning this terrible disgusting room let's get her done let's get her done okay my coffee tastes way better i had to take all the ice out because it was just watering it down and i put some toffee nut latte uh starbucks creamer in here and it's actually pretty good campaign You say the universe is doing things. I say God is out here doing things. You say astrology will give you keys. I say the Lord will give me all I need. Fruits of the spirit, God will give me peace. Who am I to judge? Other human beings. When? We just trying to figure out life. We just trying to figure out life. We just trying to figure out this life. We just trying to figure out life. 
We just tryna figure out how I this life Boy, you got Quran Some say a prophet, I say the sun Some rub with Buddha, Hindu or Islam I guess it depends on where you coming from Some people gay, some people straight Some people love, some people hate Some people build and some people break I guess really what I'm trying to say That people are people that's good and that's evil Some natives, some foreign, some call them illegal I call them my people, we all down here surviving All down here relying on something bigger than ourselves Hey, hey, hey how we gon' judge somebody else? Huh? Listen, human nature has us all messed up. Hey. Gotta start spreading all the hate and bring the rest. Oh. Of Ain't nobody perfect, we are trying to give our best. Yeah. Gotta stop that judging stuff. Start loving. Cause you say the universe is doing things. I say God is out here doing things. You say astrology will give you keys. I say the Lord will give me all I need. Fruits of the Spirit, God will give me peace. Who am I to judge? Other human beings. When we just trying to figure out life. We just trying to figure out life. We just trying to figure out this life. We just trying to figure out life. We just trying to figure out how to make it feel good you put someone lower than you, don't it? Go take a walk in the shoes, hold it. It ain't always what it looks like. That grass ain't greener on the other side. We a product of the madness, and we a product of the sadness. All this murder's getting savage. All this death is looking at Sometimes I walk around with a plank in my eye. Looking at that speck of dust that I see in your eyes. Sometimes I do a lot of judging, I can't sit here and lie. Sometimes I must admit I've been a terrible guy. All right, I got this in the mail. It is my triple chlorophyll. I love triple chlorophyll. It works very good as an inner body deodorizer, and mine is almost gone. I have like four left. But the room is clean, you guys. I got my bed all made. Over there always looks like a little bit more cluttered and messy because I have cereal boxes right there, and then an Ugg box, and then like clothes, a bunch of perfumes and stuff. But everything is all cleaned up. Okay, the Christian wrap be for real coming through when it comes down to cleaning. I had to buy another one of these yesterday. The If You Are Love perfume. It smells so good. I got it from American Eagle, and they had it for 50% off, so I'm like, yes, ma'am. Anyway, now. Now it is time for me to go ahead and start working on this deep conditioner. So, I do know what I want to put in it. I had like a list of stuff, but I'm pretty sure. Wait, I had like a list. I usually write everything down to stay very organized. Yes, right here. Perfect. I would have forgot some stuff actually. So, let's go ahead and make this deep conditioner. I got to go ahead and get all of the materials together. Okay, sis, so we are now about to go ahead and start making this deep conditioner. So, what I want to do. Is I want to put shea butter in there. I had ordered this big thing of shea butter off of Amazon. You already know if you watch my vlogs. I have some Aussie conditioner just to make it more creamy. Grapeseed oil. Black castor oil for the moisture. Honey. And then amla powder. So... I liked the results of the Amla powder when I did it, but I just did not like the texture. I did not like the consistency, and I did not like how messy it made my shower. But I'm thinking if I don't put too much in the deep conditioner, and I have all of these products mixed in, it'll be more creamy, not so grainy. And if I mix it with, like, this blender thingy, basically this is pretty hard, but I did see a girl with the hard, harder shea butter. Oh, it's not too hard, actually. When you mix it with oil, it's not too hard to mix or whatever. So I want to go ahead and make a good amount. Got that much shea butter. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some grapeseed oil because, you know, we got to have the oil. Add some of that. Yes, ma'am. I get all of my oils off of Amazon, but you can find these in like a Whole Foods, Rite Aid, Walmart, stuff like that. Certain oils you can. So I'm going to go ahead and put some black castor oil in there. And then we're going to go ahead and add the Honey, it's a little sticky, but with the oil, it shouldn't be too bad. I already know this is going to be very, very beneficial, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and add some amla powder. I don't really have like a certain amount that I want to put in there. I do want it to be like a good amount though. There we go. That should be good. Actually, I'll add like a little bit more. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not going to put the conditioner in yet. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there after I get done blending all of this, but let's go ahead and get it started. All right, so it definitely needs more oil. It's a little bit dry okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add more grapeseed oil and more black castor oil and i'm gonna go ahead and start adding in that conditioner need this to be very moisturizing and creamy okay now a lot of curly girls do not like the aussie conditioners i personally really like the aussie conditioners so you know it's up to you i believe you should use what works for you so yeah And we are done. It's a good amount for today's deep conditioning. We might still even have a little bit more left. 
So, the deep conditioner that I made in one of my recent videos, I have in here. I'm just going to go ahead and put it inside of this deep conditioner and kind of just like mix it around with like the stuff that it has left. The oil kind of like separates from it, so you just have to like mix it again when you go to do your deep conditioner. Again, so, where's the spoon? Okay. Okay, girls, so it is now deep conditioning time. So I'm about to go ahead and get that all started. I have my clips that I got from Amazon. So let me go ahead and get those out. I like to get these clips. They really help a lot. You can get these at like Marshalls, Burlington, Amazon. They really help a lot when you're doing like treatments like this. I'm going to go ahead and deep condition it in four sections so that I can get like it all distributed e evenly. Before I start deep conditioning, I do want to detangle. Um, so I can make it like a little bit more easy so I can get it more evenly distributed because I do not like when I'm having to do like a treatment or like something in my hair is is like tangled up. It was kind of difficult the first time that I deep conditioned my hair because it was very tangled. Um, and so I felt like there was more hair shedding during the process. It's very easy. See how quick that was? This works so good, you guys, for detangling. This keratin protein 5-in-1 leave-in spray by Hass. I get this from Walmart. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to go ahead and buy more. I just figured out that this is like one of the best detanglers. And it's not even meant to be a detangler. It's just a really good detangler. And I honestly do not use combs and brushes to detangle my hair. The only time I'm using a brush is to slick back my hair. But I never use them because they're just... They, it's more damaging, it takes out more hair. So de to detangle your hair, no matter what hair type you have, you can finger detangle your hair. But here is the homemade deep conditioner. I am so excited, you guys. But should I put on gloves? I actually couldn't find them, so it is what it is. We're just gonna go ahead and get it popping. Let me see if it has, oh my gosh. From now on, I will be doing the Amla. Oh my gosh, there's hair in there. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. I am a genius. Oh my gosh, this is exactly what I needed. See, now it doesn't have that grainy feeling to it. If you guys watched my recent vlog, the Amla was like super grainy and terrible when I mixed it with the oil. This does not have that feel. It's just creamy. And we have so many benef beneficial products in here for the hair. I'm going to coat these ends, you know. That's the oldest part of the hair. We got to be taking care of it. I put on clothes that I didn't really care about because I, like, I, I wouldn't really care if I got oil on these clothes. I already have oil in these pants from doing an oil treatment. This is what I'm talking about. See, this is what I needed, okay? I'm like, how can I use this Amla? I don't understand it. And when I go to wash it out, it's not going to be dirty and like nasty all in my shower like dirt it's just like a very creamy consistency and this is what i needed okay very moisturizing got the shea butter the grape seed the black castor honey amla conditioner okay love me some Aussie conditioner it makes the deep conditioner smell really good i want to make sure i get it all on the scalp please make sure that if you're trying to grow your hair put the product on the scalp okay because that's what's really going to grow your hair if you put it on the length of your hair that's not really going to do anything put it on your scalp See, this is what I be talking about, the good stuff. See, this is why you got to be making your products from home. I took off all my rings, and y'all see, like, the ring. I never take off my rings, like, ever. So you guys can see, like, my tan line from the ring. That is hilarious. I'm going to go ahead and twist it up, every single section. I'm going to leave it in for about, like, an hour and a half to two hours. Mostly, like, just, like, an hour, because I don't really feel like waiting that long. And then I'm going to come back when my hair is all washed. But I'm just going to go ahead and, like, speed up the clip of me doing this whole deep conditioning thing. Campaign? You say the universe is doing things. I say God is out here doing things. You say astrology will give you keys. I say the Lord will give me all I need. Fruits of the spirit, God will give me peace. Who am I to judge? Other human beings. When? We just trying to figure out life. We just trying to figure out life. We just trying to figure out this life. Trying to figure out life. Uh -huh. We're just trying to figure out, out I this life. life. Boy, you got Quran. Some say a prophet, I say the sun. Some rub with Buddha, Hindu, or Islam. I guess it depends on where you coming from. Some people gay, some people straight. Some people love, some people hate. Some people build, and some people break. I guess really what I'm trying to say that people are people that's good and that's evil. Some natives, some foreign. Some call them illegal. I call them my people. We all down here surviving. All down here relying on something big. Okay, so, so your girl's finally about to go ahead and head up out of here. I went ahead and let the deep conditioner sit in for about an hour and a half. 
half hour 45 um so basically i wanted to go ahead and touch on a, su a subject because i seen this girl on tiktok basically basically like putting soap in her bath or whatever and like all these girls were in her comments like girl you're gonna get a uti like you stink this and this and that like going off on her but i would want to say this i'm pretty sure the same girls that are saying this stuff to her are the same girls that in the summertime go and swim in a lake okay and i'm pretty sure the same girls that are saying these hateful things to her are the same girls that go and swim in a pool with chlorine in it hmm like the water in the lakes um whoa that is the nastiest thing dead animals there's poop there's pee dirt grime i'm talking you will never know what's in that lake and it's never cleaned it's the most disgusting water and it smells terrible but you want to sit up here and talk about a girl that puts soap in her bath okay and the same girls like i said don't we swim in pools that have chlorine in them which is a very very strong potent chemical why are people bashing other girls for what they use if you were really concerned and cared about her you would have been like hey girl like like i see you're using this and you're using that you know like this might not be the best for you like it might do this to you blah blah, blah but you're just being a hater like you're just being nasty and people also want to get mad people have been mad when i say that i can use soap in my bath like regular soap and nothing happens like i'm not really sensitive like no irritation like i genuinely don't have any problems when i use soap in my bath and then, like why would you tell people that like you can't be saying stuff like that on your channel but i never suggested it to anybody i'm talking on behalf of myself with that being said at the end of the day if it's not your body why are you concerned if it's not your body why are you worried you're not really genuinely concerned you don't care you just want to spread hate to make yourself feel better and i will say this a million times only miss miserable people hate on people you will not see me in nobody's comments bashing or hating on somebody because at the end of the day baby it's your life you can do what you want to do with your life that has nothing to do with me it's your body like why would I, why do i care i'm very 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 happy in my life so i have no reason to hate on somebody else and the only time i was hating on somebody was way back in the day when my life was miserable and i had nothing to live for and i was insecure and i was a hater so i know that you're miserable if you hate on me and all i can do is pray for you but you're showing that you're insecure and that you're miserable by hating on somebody because nobody that's happy and nobody that has goals in life is going to do that okay so my hair is not fully dried yet at all it's very wet at the top but I'm about to go ahead and do my washing of my underwear. I just got them all gathered up in a Walmart bag because I'm literally so low on underwear right now. And that's because I'm going to tell y'all something right now. I'm going to start loading these in the washer, but I'm going to tell y'all something right now. I will change my underwear a few times a day before having to put on a panty liner because panty liners do not allow your ladies to breathe and they can cause odors. So I will change my underwear before I have to do that. So I do suggest it. That's why I have actually been investing into buying more underwear so I have a bigger selection so I don't have to wash them here and there because having to wear paint liners all the time is just not it. What I like to use is the Baby Drift um, detergent and I just go ahead and put like a full cup of that in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a full cup in there to get them all nice and washed up. Okay. Now, I know nothing scented is supposed to be downstairs or whatever, but I honestly have noticed that these Drift Blissful's Baby and Wash Scent Boosters do not irritate me at all. They just make my underwear smell like baby powder. So I do put a cup of that in there because I really like the baby powder scent. It smells really nice and these do not irritate me any other gain any other stuff like that will irritate me but these do not so i love them for that and then since i have like a bunch of different colors in here i'm actually just going to go ahead and put it on warm instead of hot because i didn't really feel like having to separate them and i don't have a problem with them leaking colors if i put it on warm put it on delicate i spent too much money on lighting underwear for them to be ripping and doing extra crazy stuff auto sensing all right and we're done i used to advocate panty liners a lot but like i've been learning more and like that's not it here and there not bad every day after absolutely not okay real quick let me go ahead and put you guys on this isn't like it but i wanted to go ahead and show you guys i did order two more of these so now i have three on my recent vlogs my mom and i had picked up this good chemistry jasmine rose perfume at target they have it on the target website this honestly i am super obsessed with the good chemistry jasmine rose perfume it smells so good get it from target it is amazing it smells amazing so now i have three of them because i had to go ahead and order more because the reason why i do it is i don't want to hear no oh my gosh you're just like over buying stuff so that people cannot get it no i do it because i'm not gonna spray it this is a 1.7 ounce and i'm not gonna spray it unless i know that i have a lot more to spray so i spray my perfume but if i don't have much left i'm gonna let it sit there because i don't have much left you know so i had to go ahead and buy more so i can spray it freely without stressing out about it now you guys know that i was telling you guys about this on my no budget shopping video and i used this last night and my pamper shopping wait my pamper video my pamper night last night we had a pamper night yes ma'am and this dr bronner's four in one peppermint cast out soap you can get this at whole foods you can get it on amazon you can get it at walmart who let me put you on real quick okay i have told you guys some of the best things to go ahead and shave your downstairs area with y'all i barely had any shutting today 
I literally had basically no shedding today, okay? Basically, the three things that I always tell you guys to go ahead and shave your downstairs area with is this. I don't like the name. But you can read it. Get this off of Amazon. It is a pH balance intimate shaving cream. And then this Brazilian bear shave syrup at Target. Also coconut oil for no razor bumps. Okay, no razor bumps. But I'm not a test dummy. I don't want to say that. But I'm kind of like the hygiene test dummy where I'll try stuff to see if it works. Okay. So I tried this to go ahead and shave my downstairs area. I honestly feel like it's a way better shave than anything I've ever used. This Dr. Bronner's 4-in-1 Peppermint Organic Sugar Soap. Girl, get you some because this works amazing for shaving your downstairs area. I had no razor bumps, very close shave, very smooth shave, one of the best shaves I have ever had. And girl, I had to go on Amazon and buy a whole nother one because I love it. It's an amazing body wash, amazing for shaving. And I'm like, okay, okay, Dr. Bronner's, I see you. Okay, Dr. Bronner's, I see you. Y'all ain't gonna believe this one. It's curling seven o'clock in the morning. And you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, like, good morning, like, how'd you sleep? Girl, I ain't slept yet. I got back from a youth service at 10 o'clock. I ended off my video before I went to youth service. And it was kind of like hyphen though, cause it was like grown and young. It was lit. I got to skateboard outside in the dark. That sounded weird. We were all outside. People were playing basketball. People were playing like this little tennis thing. I don't know, skateboarding. It was like football and baseball. I, wait, what? I don't know. But we had a good time. I came home. Talked to my mom for a little while and had a hop on editing. I'm I'm kind of exhausted, like, but at the same time, my body is getting really used to this because this is kind of becoming the norm to where, like, editing nowadays takes, like, nine hours. I've been editing for eight hours, but I still have more, to, more stuff to do. It's, like, not just editing. Like, there's reviewing. There's, like, importing and, like, uploading and thumbnails. So this is going to take me about ten hours in total or more. But I just did not, like the end clip i did not like my outro clip so i'm like you know what i'm gonna delete it i'm gonna go ahead and refilm it and then put it into the video so i did refilm it i did and then look missing file i don't have i don't have time for this so we're gonna make it work this time and i'm gonna tell you why it's a missing file because i try to import into the wrong library if you import the video into the wrong library then you won't be able to file share onto your external hard drive so i had to take it out but until I get the whole entire clip out of this library, like the whole entire movie, I won't be able to use that clip. So why not just make a whole nother clip? Okay, you guys probably don't even follow what I'm saying, but there's been a lot of trials and errors being a YouTuber where I had to learn certain things, re-edit videos. I probably am just rambling right now, but I just want to go ahead and say thank you guys for checking in and, you know, being my blood squad. I am very tired, so I'm kind of like not even probably being myself. But God bless you all in Jesus' name. And I'll talk to you guys next time. I'm putting in the work. My mom's probably going to wake up soon and be like, good morning. And I'm going to be like, good night.